Welcome to Cynthia's oat milk tutorial. You will need a coarse strainer, a fine strainer, a container, a funnel, one cup of soaked oats. You can also skip that stage, but we prefer soaked. At least three to four cups of fresh water, some vanilla if you're feeling a little spicy, these are two medjool dates. You can use one if you want it less sweet. A pinch of salt brings it all together. There's your teaspoon for measuring the vanilla, your knife for the dates, and a blender. Pour your oats into your coarse strainer here. Them. Make sure you have clean hands. Okay. And then we're going to let them drip dry in that same bowl. Set them aside. Bowling. Cut up your dates. Oh, this is unfoiling a lot. Okay. I like to um, quarter them as well, just so you know. I forgot that this is being recorded. <laughs> Whatever. That's so okay, good. Next step is to put your dates in the blender with a little bit of water and blend them up. And just a pinch of salt. And the reason you do it this way is so that you can get all these ingredients blended really well without having to overblend the oats. So now your oats are ready to add to the blender. And I should have recommended a spoon earlier, but I'm doing it now. So. the rest of your water. Put your lid back on and blend it. Now be careful not to over blend. It's better to underdo it a little bit. You just want to get everything nice and mixed and smooth. strain one more time and make a big mess because that's how I roll. So 
you kind of want to push the rest of the liquid out here. And if you don't have one of these little doohickeys, a regular spoon will do. Just kind of push it all in towards the center and smush it. Smush it real good. Alright, so once you've got it pretty dry looking, you can save this. Just scoop it off here. You can either make oatmeal with it, you can use it in soap, you can use it in, you know, body wash, whatever you use oatmeal for. But that's still good, so don't throw it away. Alright, so for the next stage you need a fine filter. And if you don't have one of these, you can use a really tight-knit t-shirt, you can use, like, stockings, whatever you've got. So you just want to pour it in a little at a time. You don't need to try to do it all at once. <clears throat> and then you're going to kind of do the same thing you were doing before, which is just trying to help it go through. And whatever dregs you have left over, you can add to the existing dryer oats. And you just keep doing this until you've got it all strained. So as you can see, you've got the sediment building up on the bottom. So you just dump that into your, your other bowl here and you can keep going. Done. Now you just have to transfer it to the final container. And I would recommend that you stop about halfway and stir it. Yeah. For all your OD milky needs.